G'day Virgo, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, hey? Alright, now, this is the last reading for before Christmas. I will take a few days off over Christmas, but I will be back to do a reading for the new year. Before New Year's, so after Christmas. Alright, so... Yeah, just a few days off for Christmas. All right, so let's go. So this is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates there with your current timeline. Cross watches, this could be your energy, but if it's not, it will be somebody else's. Keep that in mind. And thank you all so much, so, so much. For all your like, share, subscribes, views, every single one of them is so greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, every single one of you. And of course, the decks I'm using today will be listed in the description box below in the order that I'm using them. All right, Virgo, let's go. Message for you at the bottom is... Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents... Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give, to give and receive the highest energy of all. And reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Huh. So there's some sort of issues that you need to heal. Could be to do with family. Could be childhood issues. Could be any sort of issues that you need to heal with. Um, and get... Um, living in the moment, stop and smell the roses, that will make you very attractive, you've got an attraction to someone, um, but you've got some healing to do first, once that healing's done, then you'll be looking more attractive, and you'll feel it's safe to love someone, you might even be able to reconcile with someone, at least reconcile your differences with someone, but you've got healing you need to do first, for sure. There's healing that needs to be done, Virgo. And you'll be able to live more in the moment. Because I think it's stopping you from living in the moment. Yeah, keep an open mind. Just I'll make me differ from your usual type and expectations. So, you know, just keep an open mind with everything. Especially when reconciling with someone. Ooh. You've got this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And then this one flew out. Yeah, but you've got to do this healing first. Could be healing with that person. Healing, reconciling, healing those differences that you had. So you can live more in the moment. Not dwelling on things that happened in the past. Alright. All right, let's go. Love energy coming towards Virgo. Give us three cards, please. What can you tell us about them? The love energy coming towards Virgo. There's one. Too many. Alright. Well, we take the bottom ones, don't we? Okay, so they have. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So they're going to do something very soon or decide something very soon. Wedding, this situation involves marriage. So there could be someone you're married to. It could be they married to someone else or they just want to marry you. And release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So they've got something they need to release too. Could be releasing a, a marriage. Hmm. I'll find out. Bottom of the deck, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So 
they've learned some self-respect here, something to do with their belief systems when it comes to marriage and love, um, making that effort and expressing their love. There's that reconcile. So this could be someone you, you're going to reconcile with. They're going to make the effort to express that love. They're looking at their belief systems when it comes to love um, and learning some self-respect here and self-love. Hmm. Yeah, and that extra card that came out was engagement, but... Hmm. Higher level of commitment. But I only take the first three that came up, come out. Alright, message for Virgo is... The Hierophant. Wow. Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Ooh. So, yeah, when you, with your belief systems, when it comes to commitment is, um, and commitment is stable action here, but you're holding back because there's some conflict or fighting or the competition. Yeah, you're conflicted, so you're holding back from offering this stable action to a commitment. <laughs> I think you need, yeah, Queen of Swords, yeah, you've got your sword up, guarding your heart because you've been hurt before and you're not going to let someone hurt you again. They have to come correctly. So, yeah, you're holding back, protecting yourself. Fair enough. Okay. All right, tell me about very soon for this love energy coming towards Virgo, please. Didn't do very soon. Hmm. Princess or Page of Cups, water energy. Could be an apology or a message of love. That's what they're going to do very soon. Apologize or send a message of love. Just a little innocent message of love. Hmm. Because they don't like being left out in the cold. They're out in the cold. So they want to send an apology to come back in. King of Wands, Fire Energy, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Seven of Cups. So we've got a pair here, King and Queen of Wands. They're not really the committing types, though, are they? But there is that is a pair. Um, so controlling their passions and their actions. They're single and stable financially looking to bring in that love and passion but there's a lot of confusion on their part they think you might have other options as well because this can be the other woman um yeah they think you might have other options they're single though trying to control their actions here and passions but they're really wanting to express that love and passion to you but that um, could be in a bit of an illusion or a bit of confusion a bit of daydreaming about the passion between you two while they're out in the cold um, yeah two of ones they're at a crossroads here They know that they have to apologise pretty soon if they want to come in from out in the cold anyway. Alright, tell me about wedding for this love energy coming towards Virgo, please. The Fool. A brand new beginning. Start of a whole new cycle. This could be someone that you're married to. We did see the pair there, wanting a whole new beginning to this relationship, wanting to start again, I'm hearing. You might already be together in a commitment, but they want to start again, yeah, and with the wheel to turn on everything that's happened in the past. They want the wheel to turn in their favour, the fool standing in a wheel as well, but... Mmm... Justice, 
the Empress, the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy again, and Temperance. So they want to balance things out with you. They want things to grow with you. They want to take this passionate action here. But they know they've got to be patient. Hmm. They want this new beginning to grow. It's got to be balanced. Could be something legal here. Yeah, they want to come in passionately, but they've got to be patient and let this just go with the flow if they want this to grow and be balanced. But yeah, they're looking for a new beginning in this relationship. Ooh. But yeah, they don't know which way it's going to go. Two of Swords. They don't know what you're going to decide though. Tell me about release your ex for this love energy coming towards Virgo, please. What are they releasing here? Nothing. The Empress. Ooh. Releasing the need to grow this. Releasing an empress that was an ex. Having to release that, clear their energy of this ever growing into anything. The lovers, a choice they made. Someone who was a soulmate that they, that they saw as an empress. Feeling they have to release you. So they want this new beginning, but they want to release you. They want to come in out of the cold. Five of Swords. The Death card. The Ace of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Water energy. Best love that there is in the deck. Um, there was head games and mind games and manipulation, self-sabotage even, that cause an ending here, this thing to end. But there's truth they want to speak here about how much they love you. So they do want to give you this awesome love. That's the truth there. But yeah, this it was ended because of sabotage, head games, mind games, selfishness. That's too much of that self-love. Winning at any cost. That's why they have the feeling that the choice will be that they have to release you. So, hmm, will they have a new beginning? They don't know. They might have to release you. You're an empress. Or are they holding on to somebody else? Hmm. You'll, you'll already know if it, if it is, there is an ex- with Empress, I'm getting Mistress. If they have a Mistress, they've got to release them. They've got to make that choice here. If they want this commitment with you. But um, you'll already know that. And I'm not really feeling that for everybody. That's it's like a 2% or something. It's very low percentage of people. Otherwise, it's they don't know how this is going to go. Whether they get to be back with you again and have a new beginning or whether they have to release this you as this beautiful imp empress that is their soulmate have they stuffed it up too much that's majority of you all right message for virgo is big happy changes a year from now there's something better, and within the next few weeks, ooh. So you've got some really big happy changes coming in for you. 
a year from now, I mean, it could be a year from now, it could be just coming into next year, um, but it would be within a year from now. Like, you'll be really surprised how much things have changed within a year. There is something better for you coming in within the next few weeks, Virgo, so... It could be they're coming in to offer you something better within the next few weeks very soon. And a year from now you'll see those big happy changes, but... Whatever you decide with this person, you're getting some big happy changes coming in. Be assertive. So basically take action on those things that you want to change. Get the process happening, Virgo. Start thinking about it. Yeah, get more information about how you want things, that big happy changes to come in. What exactly is it that you want? Start working on it. All right, the love energy coming towards Virgo. What else can you tell us? Three cards, please. What else can you tell us about them? This energy. Three cards. One. Okay, two and three. Gotcha. Okay, so they have within the next few months. Hmm. In the near future, hmm. okay, so we're going to see a few things that they're going to preparing to do, and success. Hmm. Okay. Bottom of the deck, romance. Not the right time. No need to worry. And no, a hard no. So they're looking at romance for you, but it's not the right time here. But they're not wor they're, there's no need to worry because, well, are you going to say no? They're not worried because there'll be no need to worry because what you they know you, you're going to tell them no. It's not the right time for romance anyway. Now, they need to speak some truths before they worry about romance. About whatever those head games and manipulation was. But perhaps they know that you're just going to give them a hard no. Hmm. Alright, message for Virgo at the bottom is... King of Cups. Water energy, nine of cups, seven of cups, and the fool. Wow. So you've got a lot of love to give here, but you're holding it back. You're keeping very controlled in your emotions here. Um, filling up your own cups, filling, feeling your own self-love, um, being emotionally fulfilled on your own. That's the, what you're mastering here. Because there's been so much confusion and illusion here. You're also looking at your options here for a new beginning. Where you're going to have a new beginning, take that leap of faith. You're looking at all the options that are up for offer here for you. Filling your own cups with love. Being emotionally fulfilled on your own. And controlling your emotions when it comes to this person. Yeah, you've done your healing. You've got your emotions under control. You're feeling pretty good on your own, checking out your options and what you're going to take a leap of faith in next. And being very patient about it with temperance, making so sure any options you do to have a look at, that they're balanced and they will blend well with you, that there is love and passion in both cups. Before you take any action...
two of wands. Yeah, before you make any decisions, you're going to make sure you're going to be very patient before you make any decisions. Okay, back to them. Tell me about within the next few months for this love energy coming towards Virgo, please. Okay. They have the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Ooh. Stressing about this day and night, which way is this wheel turning for the next few months? Within the next few months, all they're going to do is worry about which way this wheel is going to turn. Stressing about it all night, having nightmares, can't sleep at night, and feeling trapped and stuck in their head about it all day. Wow. About how this wheel's going to turn. And will they get this passionate new beginning with you, Ace of Wands? Hmm, it's all they can think about. Hermit, that's your card, Virgo. But yeah, they're single on their own, having to do some thinking here. Two of Wands at a crossroads here. Six of Cups about this love in the past with you and Ace of Pentacles. Will there be a stable new beginning? Yeah, having to have a good look, hard think and look at themselves. Because they don't know. Will they get this love back and have this new beginning with you? They don't know. They're at a crossroads waiting for your answer. Yep, two of Wands. At the crossroads. Well, they need to make a decision too. Because they've got to come in and apologise for those head games. Are they going to change? They can't come back in and do the same thing. Because that's, yeah. They're feeling stuck when it comes to this being successful. Because they have to have a different perspective here. If they want this four of wands for things to be stable and passionately stable and grounded between you two. Will they take that leap of faith and have this new beginning with you? Well, they've got to have that stable, you know, think about how this is, they're going to make things stable between you two. Have a different perspective, even see it from your perspective for a start. Hmm. Yeah, they're really burdened by it, Ten of Wands. Okay. Tell me about in the near future for this love energy coming towards Virgo, please. Oh. Five of Swords. Backstabbing. Betrayal. Head games. Mind games. Manipulation, sabotage. In the near future, what? They're going to stuff it up. Ah, the hangman. So in the near future, they're going to see what they did and have a different perspective on that. They're going to see what they did and see it from your perspective in the near future, what they did. The mind games of manipulation, the backstab and the sabotage, how they stuffed it all up. They're going to see that. And it's going to be stuck in their head and that's why for the next few months they're going to be freaking out about it. Yeah, Six of Cups, what they did in the past. King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, this is you. The Hierophant and the Knight of Cups, Water Energy. Yeah what they did in the past to someone who was grounded, stable and committed to them, who w wanted this wedding, this marriage to actually work and was offering love. How they didn't take s stable action, like, actions of love towards someone who was committed to them and wanted this to be something that would grow, long-term stability in the past. So in the near future, they're having a wake-up call. 
And I think that's why, they, you know, within the next few months, it's going to drive them absolutely nuts what they did. It's, yeah, that's why they want to come in and apologise, come out of that cold, because I don't think they'll be, they are going to be able to handle the realisation of what they did. Yeah, and they know damn well romance isn't going to cut it. Mm -hmm. Tell me about success for this love energy coming towards Virgo, please. Empress, well, that's you, isn't it? Or the one they're releasing. The Empress, birthing new ideas, growing something new, all four queens rolled into one. Hmm, maybe they think they might have success with the X. The Chariot, moving forward triumphantly. Yeah, they want this to be successful and to grow and move forward. The Eight of Cups walking away from the Queen of Pentacles. That's you, Virgo. We saw the King before, now it's the Queen Earth Energy, Five of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Look, if you know that there was an ex that they have to release, they're going to think that they can find success with the ex because it's too hard to come back to you because they know that you'll walk away. This is you. You'll walk away from this. Leave them out in the cold because of their indecision here to make a choice. Yeah, two of wands. Stand at it there, leave them standing at that crossroads because they couldn't make a decision here. They'll be left out in the cold by you. Walking away. So they might choose thinking that you're going to leave them out in the cold anyway, even if they apologise. Um, they might think they'll have success with the ex that they released. But why would you release an empress, really? I don't get that. I'm feeling that's more you anyway. So what, they're, they're hoping that they can have this success with you and move forward with you? Releasing that old energy? If they can come in and see things from a different perspective, have the wheel turn, having them realise that what they've done they need to come and apologise. <sighs> I'm a bit confused here. Because I think you're not going to take them back. You're just going to sell them to hit the road jack. You know that song? <laughs> Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. I can't sing for crap, so... I've really lost my singing voice. <clears throat> I don't sing at all anymore, so that's why it's gone. But, yeah. So they may go back to the ex. Who they think they can grow with. It's a second choice. Oh, sorry. Maybe they can move forward with them. Alright, what's the message for Virgo? The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. The snake, competition, clever, enemy, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. The golden, oh my god, the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing and stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, wow. So run, Virgo, run. Run, Forrest, run. Run, Virgo, run. There's, they've got someone else. They haven't released them. 
this is a one-sided relationship and you're going to get stabbed in the back here and this will end. Ah, uh, It's not a good pres Chrissy present, is it? Well, maybe if you avoid this person, you'll have a good Christmas. But they're not really... Yeah, they're going to they're gonna think, go back to their ex because they think that they'll have more success with them. Because it's too hard for them to make up for what they've done to you. Hand of cards, take a chance, risk, be strategic options, not showing hand gambling. Yeah, you're going to be taking a big risk here if, you know... If you take this person back, it's going to be a massive risk. And I don't think it's a very good option at all. It's not a wise decision. Oh dear. Damn it. Alright, love energy coming towards Virgo. What else can you tell us about them? Three cards at least, please. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Okay, they have the boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. I think they're going to get what they need out of you and move on. Which might just be a bit of forgiveness for what they did. And as far as repairing things, I think it's that's too hard for them. Date, meeting someone new, see? Getting, dating, getting back out there, plan set a date. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, yeah. I think you're going to be shocked, the fact that they've already, they are already moving on to someone else and out there dating other people, even though they do feel this guilt for what they did to you. Golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing, yeah, see? too self-absorbed so if they come back for anything it's it's just to make themselves feel better it's not to make you know say sorry for what they did it's to get you to make them feel better about what they did dragonfly being light-hearted finding out things coming to light adapt change heal they want to find out what's going on with you so they're coming in light-hearted here to see if they can get you to change your opinion of them, because they don't like that you don't think very highly of them. The Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change, mind. Hmm, they might come in saying that, oh, that they want a new phase and to renew this, but changed mind is coming up for me strongly here. Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Do you want to commit to someone who's like that though? Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. Yeah, I think you've shown them in the mirror exactly what they are. And they didn't like that. Enlightening, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Yeah, and I think that shocked them quite a bit, that you showed them who they are. Um... But they do want to come back and try and commit to you, but I, I don't like their energy. Keys on a ring. See, many options. They've got a choice here. Decision, unconventional string along, one night stand, coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth change, liberation, transition, the grim reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. And kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love. See, they've got two options here. They can get back with you and have that commitment again with you. Or they can go back to their ex because they've got options here. And with you, everyone ends, they're going to have a new beginning with the other. If you end things, they'll have a new beginning with this other person. And that'll be it. There'll be no second chances because, well, you won't give them a second chance if they go back to their ex. Um, where The ex where they can get this unconditionally loving because they're, you know, I think both of you are empresses and they've got a choice between the two of you. But see, it's outdated thinking here. 
twin flames, I doubt it. Um, you might burn, you're burning each other, that's for sure. Mm, they've caused heartbreak because of their sabotage here. But, hmm, I'm not locking their chances with the ex either. Because if they're in Empress mode too... Well, Empresses don't put up with crappy people like this. People in Empress mode do not put up with narcissistic backstabbing people. They just don't. They don't have time for it. They'd rather be alone. Alright, what would you like to say, Virgo? I'm sorry I hurt you. We will be together again. I'm afraid of these feelings. And I've hidden my love for you. Oh, Virgo doll. You still feel for this person, don't you? You're, you feel so, you're sorry for, you know, the part you played in the breakup because no one's, oh, excuse me, no one's innocent in a, oh, excuse me, in a breakup. You think you'll be together again, but you're afraid of the feelings that you have here because you know, you're afraid of feeling things for this person and they sabotage it again. And that's why you're hiding your love that you have for them. Because you know you can't trust them. It says you feel like home, but maybe you have a home together. I'm keeping you a secret. You're keeping them a secret because you don't want people to know that you still care about someone who treated you like that. Yeah, I understand. I've loved people I shouldn't have loved too. It's part of learning the lessons of life. I'm always thinking about you. Hmm, you're always thinking about this person, but... Ah, oh, dear Virgo. All right, love energy coming towards Virgo. What do they want to say to Virgo? At least three cards, please. got to say one more please at least one more huh. it's funny because I actually when that first card came out on this side I thought, well, that's your side. If any come out on this side, that'll be to that X person. So, and look what came out there. All right. Well, that's on your side. So, we'll, so their side they have, I want you back. For that X. Your side they have, I'm always thinking about you. I'm waiting for an apology. <laughs> Good luck, mate. I think they're waiting to apologize to you. And I can't right now. <laughs> no, because they're stuck up in their head about it. They know what, they're realising what a prick they were. Sorry, but I don't normally swear, but I'm sorry, but th that's exactly what they were. Stabbed in the back, the golden mirror, love yourself first, as in no, this is coming across in a negative way because Five of Swords is under the next deck. Keys on a ring at the bottom here, just as one night stringing someone along. And but what if it doesn't work out with you? They've got someone else they can go back to. I only want to be with you. Well, that's a lie. I was raised not to show emotion. Yeah, whatever. I can't wait to see you again. Yeah, and I'm not over you. No, they're not over you. And they and they're going to have a rude awakening very very soon in the near future. They're going to realise what a prick they were. And within the next few months, it's going to do their head in. So I'd wait until at least a few months before you accept their apology. They've got a lesson to learn here. <sighs> yeah, they can't wait to see you again. But, you know, they're probably not going to show much emotion here. Even though, oh, I only want to be with you. 
Well, if that doesn't work out, though, I'm going to go back to my ex. <sighs> Virgo, darling. I'm so sorry. This is a crap Christmas present, isn't it? Well, all I can say is don't open it. Do not open it. <laughs> um, yeah, they need to have a really good long hard look at what they've done here. Yeah, in the near future they're going to see what they did. That's why for the next few months they're going to be stressing to the max. And what's why they want to come in and apologise very soon because they don't want to be stuck in that energy. But then possibly they're just going to release you or... Or think they'll have success with someone else that they released. Releasing an ex for you. Because they want this commitment with you. So what, they're with somebody else? Because they know you're their soulmate. You're the one they want to commit to. But what, it, if you expect, you know, you want them to do all this work and leave them sitting in all this energy, well, that's going to be too hard for them. So they're just going to go have success with their ex that they let go. Want to just go back there, so. But if their ex is in the empress mode, I don't know if they're going to be able to go back with them. Not if they're carrying on the way they are. And if they are, well, good riddance to them. Ah, oh, there you go, Dale. All right. Well, anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what the cards say. Hope it doesn't resonate. But you can give me a like for the warning <laughs> and the heads up, and you're probably glad to hear that they will be stressing about this and they're going to have a wake up to what an arsehole they were and um yeah they'll be stressing about it for months so that's probably a you'll be happy to hear that all right well don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff and i will be doing another reading after christmas so i'm going to take a few days off at christmas and um i'll be back before the new year a few days before new year to um give you another reading then all right all right, well, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.